Okay, in this video I'm going to be going over how to solve systems of equations using a graphing calculator. In this video, I have a TI-83. So I'm going to turn on the calculator, press on. Um, here's the two equations. This is the first problem I'll attempt to solve here. I have equation A, which is x plus y equals 5, and equation B, 3x minus y equals negative 1. To solve this, I'll need to, well, there's a number of ways to solve this, but using matrices, I'll need to hit the second key and then hit the inverse button, and matrix is right above. It will bring you to this menu. Um, scroll over to edit, and I'll just use the first one, A, so hit enter. Now, the matrix I need for this is a 2x2 two two matrix. Um, I'm going to load the coefficients of equation equations A and B into this matrix. So I'm just going to tell the calculator that's what I want. 2 by 2. And I'm going to scroll down and enter each element. So the coefficient on x is 1, so that's what I'm going to enter here. Move down. Coefficient on this x is 3 and then the coefficient on the y in equation A is 1. Scroll down to this element. Um, coefficient on y in equation B is negative 1. So negative 1. And I have all those in there. So I'll go back to matrix. And you'll see it shows I have a 2x2 two two matrix here now. Um, and then I'll go and make matrix B. So, enter. And this will need to be a 2 by 1 matrix. So, hit the 2, and it sets it up for me. And now I'm going to enter the 5 and the negative 1. So, 5 and negative 1. And there we have that. Go back to matrix. It shows both of them there. Now, to actually solve this, to get x and y, we're going to need to multiply the um, inverse of a times b. So, I'm going to hit a. Oh, actually, here, let me go back. Quit. So, I'm going to go to the matrix. Select a. And then I need a inverse. So, I hit the inverse button. Times b. Hit 2. Enter and here it gives me my answers 1 and 4 so 1 corresponds to the x value which I'm putting right here and the y would correspond to the 4 so the answer to this problem is x equals 1 y equal to 4 so that's the first problem I wanted to go over I'm just going to clear the calculator out and this is the second problem uh, there's a little bit more to do on this problem but with using matrices it's not that much harder so here you go back to the matrix menu I'm now on problem 2 moving over to edit we're going to edit A so I'm just going to follow the same procedure here I'll just need a 3x3 three three matrix instead um, just by the equations so I'm going to enter 3x3 three three. move down here and I'm just going to um, enter the coefficients and you'll notice there is no z here, so that will just be a 0. So when I go through and enter this, uh, first one is 1. Um, here needs to be a 5, just from this x right here. Um, next 2. And then 10. Negative 3. 1, negative 2, 4, and then the last one will be a 0 because there's no z in equation c. So then um, that's all I need to enter for equation or matrix A. So I'm going to go back to the matrix menu and I'm going to edit matrix B. This time I need a 3 by 1, so I'm going to enter 3. 
come down here and then I'm going to enter the 20, the 8, and the 6. So 20, then 8, then a 6. And then I have matrix B all prepared here. Go back to matrix. And uh, let me just quit. Okay, now I'm in matrix. So I'm just going to follow the same procedure. I'm going to take the inverse of A multiply it by matrix B. And when I do that, I get that X is equal to 2, Y is equal to 2, and Z is equal to 1. And that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Hope it helps.